in this module, we're looking at ECG paper, understanding what the lines on the paper mean. We'll introduce how to use our calipers, and we're going to identify the different waveforms that we'll be looking at in our eight step process. Let's get started. All right, now before we can interpret and measure a patient's ECG tracing, we need to understand the elements of the paper that we are using. ECG paper is composed of large squares and little squares. So let's start with the large square first. And I'm gonna take a small subset here and blow it up for you. Now a large square is consisting of five smaller squares. So one, two, three, four, five. And a large square in itself measures a time frame of 0 0.20 seconds. This means that each small little square is a fifth of that. So if we go to the very beginning, this is time zero. The first little square is 0 0.04 of a second, 0 0.08, 0 0.12, 0 0.16, and 0 0.20 of a second. Those measurements will be important as we learn how to identify the different waveforms and their normal ranges or their normal duration of time. This is known as the horizontal axis. Amplitude, so the height or the depth of the waveform is measured in amplitude and this is when waveforms move up and down. We will have some waveforms in particular that we will focus on this more heavily than others. In general, we're not going to worry too much about this, but there will be a piece. And this is measured in millivolts. So one small square is equal to 0.1 millivolts, and five small squares or one large square is equal to 0.5 millivolts. Now the values of these boxes are important to commit to memory at some point. You're not going to have that right away and that's okay, but be, it, will, it will make it easier when we move forward. How to use your calipers in practice. Now I know we haven't talked waveforms yet, but really what I want to highlight here is the use of calipers and how we're going to use them going forward. In this particular diagram, I have an object of interest. And so I've got this line that's going along and all of a sudden there's these funky things happening and we come back to a line. I'd like to know how long is this funky pattern taking? So I'll put the tip of my caliper at the beginning where it leaves this straight line to the end where it comes back to the straight line. Now in order to measure this and get an accurate picture, I will take my calipers then and drag them down so that I'm starting on one of the darker pink lines. And I know that it's easier to measure when I have it on a darker pink line because I know this is time zero. I know a large box is 0.20 of a second and I know a small box is 0.04. So in looking at this, I can go, okay, this is zero. I know my large box is 0.2, and I have one small box that's plus a 0 0.04. So I've got a total of 0.24 seconds in duration for this funky pattern. Alternatively, you can just count how many small squares there are, and you can multiply that by 0 0.04. I know there's five in one box, five plus six. I have six small boxes. Six times 0 0.04 is 0 0.24 of a second. Okay, so I've grabbed a different ECG here. Ignore the fact that there's some real funky stuff happening here. That's for another lesson. But essentially, we were just looking at how to use our calipers and how to measure the time of these really um, interesting waveforms, right? So what happens when we don't have our ECG calipers? Well, we're going to use a piece of paper to do exactly the same thing. So now this one's pretty easy to see our isoelectric line that normal line where everything is moving off and coming back to. And so we're going to put our paper as close to that as we can. And then I'm just going to use a hash mark and I can see there's where my P wave takes off. So I just put a line on my piece of paper and here's where it's coming back. And check the next one here too. There's where my P wave is leaving and here's where it's coming back. And so then all I would do is take this piece of paper down. I'll use this second set here down to my dark, this would be a pink line traditionally, this is a photocopy, and then I would count the number of small squares, or I could count the number of large squares plus the small squares and figure out how long this is. Now what I have for you is some practice, just to get comfortable with using your calipers. You have this in your workbook, and I want you to measure just from the tip 
to the end of each of these objectives on the horizontal axis. We are not measuring amplitude, just duration, and that's always horizontal. So go ahead, pause this video and do your practice session and then come back. Okay, so now we're gonna put the answers here up on the board. You should have 0 0.08 seconds for number one, 0 0.16 for number two, 0.12 seconds for the third one, and the fourth object is 0 0.20 seconds. Now that we have the basics of ECG papers and how to use a caliper, it's time to move on to the ECG waveforms.